Hi everyone, my name is Nancy and welcome to my channel. This is RMT Budget or UPB for short. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to share my journey with the cash budgeting system and the positive impact it has had on my life. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. So in this video, I will be doing a um, an unboxing of my binders and also everything related um, to cash budgeting. So I, basically my setup. Um, so uh, we'll get started. So I bought a few binders. Um, I bought a set. Uh, it's all the same color and I'll show you. So first of all, I bought a mini binder. I'm not sure how much this is gonna be of use, but I thought it was really cute. Um, it's from a Korean company called uh, Plepik. I'll link where I bought mine. Um, and um, I'll show you all the binders that I got, but basically I had, um, all together, I believe it was about 75 USD. Yes, so there were also custom fees, so I think you have to check um, how much it's going to cost you, basically. But I thought for the amount of binders that I got that it was a pretty good deal, especially if you buy from the manufacturer directly. So we'll start with this one. Um, I'm just going to open it to see what's inside. So it just comes with a little, you know, styrofoam to keep its shape. And it has the lovely little, you know, cute decorative thing over here. I've been cash stuffing since November of 2022, so it's not too long ago. And I personally don't use a mini, I usually use an A7. Um, for kind of my wallet, so we'll see how I transition into this mini or if I find it too small. So I'll open the other binders. So I got, uh, so those are the A6 binders, which is what most people use for cash stuffing. Um, so I got three of these and I'll show you what my intentions, my intentions are for them. So we'll just open this one to see what's inside. I think it looks really nice uh, with the beige and the gold accent. Uh, the rings inside are silver, but it doesn't really bother me. I know some people like for it to be um, all the same, but to me it's, it's not a big deal. So uh, it it's meant to be um, a diary, but you know, everybody uses it for Cash stuffing. Okay, so it comes with dividers. Um, so monthly dividers here. I might just keep it just in case um, I ever want to use this as a diary instead. But it has a little ruler and it serves to like make little drawings in your diary or something. So same thing here. When you open it, you have a little kind of foam to help keep its shape. And you have two little cardboard pieces. I might keep these. These look, they're pretty thick. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it could be useful. So I'm going to keep this. And I'll remove this. It comes with two little um, leather bookmarks that you can put, you know, over here to like mark um, a page or an envelope. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this, to be honest. And again, this is just like a little decorative um, handle. Okay, so 
you just need to place the handle here. I don't remember this being this hard. Okay, back with this. I really love the look of these. I think they're really nice. We'll see how they hold up though. Um, it is a softer binder, so you know, like most people have like hard covers. This is soft, and you have little pockets for cards or to put trackers in or. You know, I think it's really cute. So that's for the A6. Again, same as the A6 binders. This is a soft binder and has it has pockets here. Where you can put, I guess, cards, trackers, or what have you. I'm just gonna... There's a little hole here for a charm if you want to add one. And that's it for the A5. That's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put them next to each other so you can see the size difference. So that's the A5. Over here. A6. And that's the mini size. Which is quite small compared to the A6. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's move on to my cash envelopes. Um, so I, I will start with my high priority sinking funds. I decided to make them um, in the A5 size just because of the binders I had selected. Um, so uh, let's just look at my categories. So I'm just going to open this. Okay, so these cash envelopes I made myself, they're not for sale, they're just uh, for personal use and for the purpose of this channel and the, what I share on this channel. Um, I decided to make bilingual cash envelopes just because it really suits my needs and my reality, I want to say. So um, I made, the, there's a, the main font that's in English. And the other one is in French, so this is mostly for me. Uh, so, and for any, you know, French viewers, whatever. Um, and for any uh, fellow French Canadians or uh, people that understand French, or if you want to improve on your French. So this is uh, my emergency fund, and I call this coussin, coussin financier, which is like a little pillow. I think it's a cute image. Um, so that's in my high priority. I have baby needs, uh, besoin de bébé, so anything that my baby needs, like diapers or clothes, um, things like that. Uh, so car, everything car related except the payment, so car. Um, Medical and health, anything that is a, a dentist appointment, optometrist. Um, here in Quebec, we don't, and I guess the rest of Canada, we don't pay to see the doctor. We pay more taxes and we have a card that allows us to go see the doctor for free. So we have a health card. I'm not sure how to call it otherwise, but I still need to save up for other appointments. Um, pet care, um, I have a dog, a wonderful dog. I need to save up for her grooming, a vet, um, food, toys, things like that. And student loan. Uh, so student loan is, I have a low payment per month, but I'd like to start throwing chunks of money at it so it 
you know, decreases eventually. So here I'm planning to stuff the monthly amount, but with my savings challenges or anything extra I have, I'd like to really um, start digging at it. Home maintenance is for uh, lawn care and other things that need, need fixing around the house. Uh, work license. So I need a permit um, to work for my professional life. For my work license, I have to save up every year. I have to pay in the month of March to practice uh, in my field. So I'd like to save up for that because I never save up for it. And, you know, March comes around and um, it's kind of stressful because it's a pretty significant amount, which I'll share in my next video. Okay. So that's it for my high priority funds. So I have, so let's move on to the low priority funds. Um, eventually I'll label my other binders over here so that's way that way I will distinguish them for my low priority funds I wanted to split it in two so I haven't decided yet um, I wanted to do six uh, envelopes per binder because I feel otherwise it's gonna become way too thick way too fast so I'm just gonna divide them So here are my categories for my low priority sinking funds. So I have gas, oh, <laughs> alright if you see me struggle a bit it's because I bought zipperless cash envelopes and uh, the manufacturer I bought where I bought it from it seems like the um, holes at the bottom are a little off so I might struggle with that so I'm going to try to see if I can break them in otherwise I think I'll have to hole punch some other holes over here so groceries dining out this is a category we need to work on Household, so anything like toilet paper, um, sponges, dish soap goes into household. For hosting, I like to save up a bit because we have an event coming up. Otherwise, we don't host that much, but I'd love to have more people over. I feel like it's just that I'm, I never um, suggested, but I love having people over and I would love to save up to have people over. And miscellaneous. Let's see, it's a little, I'm struggling a bit. So that's it for this low priority sinking fund. Let's move on to the, let's move on to the next binder. So this is the second A6. So this is more um, personal categories. So um, for example, here I have beauty. That's for me, for sure. So this is for haircuts, nails. Mama essentials. This is my envelope because I'm a new mom. I've learned that there's many things that I would like to purchase but are not necessary. So 
I just wrote the I just realized how ironic it is because I wrote mama essentials but it's not really essentials it's just like for example I want to save up to because I'd like to have like um you know like the a cup holder for the stroller it's not essential I, I mean it's not a big deal I can put my drink or my bottle of water at the bottom of the stroller and, and I'll be fine it's just like when you're um you know shopping or you're just outside and you just want to sip a water it's easier if it's closer so it's not that expensive on amazon but i feel like this could be a downward spiral if you start buying everything you want i don't need necessarily this but it's nice to save up to have nice things so uh next category is wellness uh so this i wanted to save for for example massages like going to the spa or um fitness classes um and i say this but i have a yoga subscription that like your classes never expire and i haven't gone in the last i think at, le at least six years like some that's something i really want to do and uh one of my really good friends is a yoga instructor so i have really no reason not to go like i have make I have to make time to go All right, so I decided to put um, birthdays in this binder just because I feel like it's not related to the home, but it's something that I feel it's a category that always creeps up on me because birthdays come every year and you want to have a little something for your friends and family. Holidays is another one. So we celebrate most holidays i want to say um like um uh, christmas halloween um things like that so i want to start saving up for that and uh giving so this is a very versatile envelope because giving can mean a lot of things I do have family all around the world and sometimes, you know, they need a little help. Um, but to be honest, I want to have my things in order before I can help someone else. So this is just like a thoughtful way of, um, you know, thinking of them, but also making sure that my bills are paid. The struggle. So that's it for this binder. So let's move on to my third A6 binder. This is more for long-term goals. For long-term goals, I have retirement fund. Month ahead. That's something that I would love to tackle. baby e savings so eventually in my next videos i will be talking about uh the specific amounts today was just to show you kind of my setup Okay, so that's it for this binder moving on to the mini binder so so far i had, don't have any categories i'm not sure i'm gonna use it yet i do have mini cash envelopes but i'm not sure what to label them as for now so i'm just gonna put this aside i actually just want to try i actually just want to try an envelope in here make sure everything fits I hadn't opened any of this uh, because I was waiting to film this video this is so cute okay so that's it for this binder all right so moving on to the next binder this is just a clear a6 that I'm gonna use for now 
and this is going to be for my savings challenges so for my savings challenges i'm just going to start with um this one which i made and it's on my etsy shop available for digital download so printable i'm not selling any physical items for the moment i'm just trying things out this is my first time um this is my first time really opening a shop an etsy shop so i'm still testing things out uh, so this i called french pastry savings challenge so it's basically like a little bingo if you will so um you know the eclair is worth five dollars um the millefeuille is 15 tarte au citron is 20 dollars so you get the a gist of it um so i will be starting this challenge and i'll be talking about this more on my next video okay so i'll just put this to the side for now next up is going to be coffee fund so this is a savings challenge but it could also be used as a tracker so um I made little icons, if you will, and uh, I kind of modified them a bit just because I'm not trying to get sued. So um, this one has little stars and a dollar for Starbucks. This says Timmy's for those of you who are Canadian. I'm not sure if Tim Hortons is in the US now, but this is very popular during the summer. Um, this one I called Mech Budget just because you know McDonald's and this one you can't really see it it didn't come through but I called third cup for a second cup again I think it's a Canadian company so I'm not sure if you guys get that in the US so the way it works is that uh, you assign each cup a dollar amount and uh, and then at the bottom I personally like to add a place where you can you know what your savings challenge is going to be at the end. I know some people like to keep it as a surprise, but I like to keep track of how much I'm saving. So this is nice as a savings challenge, but like I said, you could also use it as a tracker. So for reloading your coffee card or something. So these challenges you can find on my Etsy shop that is linked down below. I might purchase a, another binder or switch things around to put my savings challenges in, but for now it's going to be fine. Again, it might be a struggle with the, these envelopes, but we'll see. So that's it for this binder. Now moving on to the next part. Unbox this. It's just like a sunglasses tray for my cash, which is a cash tray, I guess. So I haven't opened this. I just want to see what it looks like. There's no elegant way of opening this. is my cash tray looking cute let's move on to the calculator I thought this looked so nice um, for my beige aesthetic that I was going for it's the uni one chocolate calculator I think it'd be oh yeah here it is so it's there's the dark brown the beige one that I selected and a pink one so let's see. I'll try to link everything down below if you, you're interested. Wow, this is actually really nice. Let's see if it works. Yeah, looks nice. Testing the ASMR feel. There's no up. Oh, 
It's a bit more yellow than I expected, but I think it, it will be fine if I put it next to my binder. Yeah, it's a little more yellow than I thought. If I look at the box, I feel like on the box it looks, well, it looks like it does on the box, so it's fine. So that's my little calculator. And now let's move on to uh, my little jewelry tray or like coin tray that I got. It's by Carac Knots. It's on Amazon as well. Oh, it's actually really cute. Oh wow, it's really, really nicer than I expected. All right, so I'm just gonna put all my things together to see how it would look like in a cash uh, stuffing video. So let's try this setup. All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe for my next videos. Uh, stay tuned for my first cash stuffing on the next one. Bye.